Today's On Farm Research virtual tour will hear from Jay Gertson, a farmer in the Bradshaw, Nebraska area, who is a second year On Farm Research cooperator looking at interseeding studies. He's going to share on herbicide observations. Okay, this is the actual interseeding field. Um, there's that same Gatorade bottle. You can see it's pretty much covered up by most of the stuff. If I tilt myself up, a lot of this buckwheat um, and even cowpeas is, are chest high. Here's a radish that I pulled out. You can see it here. The root is about as long as my hand. That's about as deep as it went. That one actually bolted. Um, not really what I wanted to see. But here's interesting cow peas growing up the corn plant looking for light. So here's a test of generic Lexar half rate applied at planting time and half rate applied about a week before I interseeded. Kind of hard to tell. The stand is kind of thin, spindly. Okay, uh, here's the third trial. This had about three quarts of generic Lexar applied. It was probably applied three weeks um, before I tried this interseeding section. So you can see what's out here. Forgot my Gatorade bottle. The cow peas are slowly starting to climb. Don't see as much buckwheat. Um, the radishes you can see are smaller. A little bit of rye out here. Flax still out here. And I want to move over two rows to show you what the field looks like. For the most part, the field is clean. Just wanted to show you that to compare. It all had the same herbicide, but this interseeding stuff did come up through it. So it's kind of interesting. So thank you.